So I'm Katie Fulbert, so I, uh, like, I've been in the community for like a long time, but like recently joined the foundation to work on uh, the chart extension. Like, the goal is to replace or to provide a replacement of the graph extension, um, which you may like, be familiar with. Um, this is what the graph extension was like and um use like a series of templates and then and then underneath it was just like a, like tags a graph a, like a html tag a, for graph and then it put like a bunch of json inside the tag with like all the data or whatever like it did a million things like i don't know it did a lot and and then and then like you had these graphs um, but like, unfortunately, doing like a million things, whether or not they're a good idea or not, like, they ended up being that good idea. So, um, like, a bunch of like security problems were like found, and it was like difficult to maintain. And, and, and yeah, so unfortunately, it got disabled. And, and like, we're sad about that. Um, because it's like we know like data visualization is like an important like thing uh, like to have with an encyclopedia. So um the foundation decided like this is gonna be like one of the priorities of this year. And and with this in mind, it's like we're not gonna do like a million things this time. We're gonna start with like just an MVP version where we um uh, Support the most like basic use cases. So this is like line charts, bar charts, pie charts, like just basic things, and just try to get it right. And then, and then from there, like depending on the interests of the community, like further like work perhaps could be done. Um, yeah, yeah. And the idea like we're going with is instead of like putting JSON between the the tags on the wikis and then use like a lot of templates and new and stuff that was really like difficult to use and it was like I think they got broken a lot like just people made mistakes and and then it was also difficult to oh, you want to use these graphs on other Wikipedia's and you have to copy over all the templates and like it's kind of like a mess so like instead like on um, Commons there's a like the data namespace which supports like JSON, these for like configuration and like a lot of other things, these for tabular data there. So the idea is like we can put like the chart definitions on commons and then there'll be like some validation. So it's like if you get something wrong or like, like I don't know if you like put like like minus 400 for the width, like that like won't work. And this will tell you like, when you're trying to save. Um, yeah, and it also supports like translation. So like the labels and the legend and all that can be in like, like many languages. And then it'll use like tabular data, like at least to start with, like potentially we could have inline data in the chart definition if that's like what people would like but for now like we want to use the um, tabular data i believe the graph extension also supported this and then just like combining them you get something like this and this is not like the final design we're still like working on like improving the design and also like making it work with the um, localization. So it works in um, like Arabic with right to left and like different types of numbers and dates and things like that. We're mindful of that. So like, that's what we're focusing on rather than doing uh, like, like just a million chart types or things. We wanna get like this really like right before like we like go off on other things. Yeah, and then when you're using on a, on a wiki, like it'll be like a parser tag. So this is like, oh, oh you need even the data is optional because the the um, the um, tabular data 
and he specified in a chart definition. So like all you need is like chart and then the name of the um, page that has a chart definition and then you get the chart. So like we think that would be easier for people and not like I mean, complicated wiki text. And then, like, I mean, I know where we're going towards the visual editor, everyone can use that, but if you're editing the source and then, uh, like, you're editing something unrelated to the chart, and then you see how it's like complicated templates and, and data and stuff, that's probably scary for people. And it, like, it, it's probably also easy to mess that up. So, like, this is like less likely to get like messed up. Um, yeah, these are some like designs we're working on. Like, we're, um, there'll be like a default color scheme. Like, if you want to customize it based on as political parties and like certain colors at a meeting, then you can do that. But there'll be like a default that works with the dark moon and the light moon. And we're keeping in mind like color blindness and things like that. And this would be like a bar chart and a pie chart. Yeah. And I also can do like stack charts. And the library we're using it supports a lot more, like it supports the geospatial stuff and a lot more. So like as this goes well and people want more, then like like more can be possible. But like if we like deploy this and nobody uses it, then like uh, like, I don't know, but if it's popular, then like a lot more can be done with this, as well as like client side, like interactive stuff. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the slides are on the um, the lightning talk page. So, like, we have um, things like we want to know from you guys, like, like if you have any feedback on what we're doing or. Or any concerns, or we're, if we're just like doing it the wrong way, or something's not going to work, then like we would like to know like soon. But yeah, this is all. Um, so like you can look at it on the on the yeah. Okay, if I I mean, you, you can still do it that way too, but this makes it for people who don't know Python. It's like, yeah, and we're going to have, yeah. Yeah, and we're going to have this work with the visual editor. And then, and then it's like, I think like it would work with bots to update the tabular data and like things like that. But like, you'll be able to use the visual editor and it, like you don't have to know like technical stuff. Well, also this can be interactive. You can hover on a yeah. on Not, value to see the number yeah. of values. Yeah. That's a good question. When is it going to be available? I don't, it's not available now, right? I uh, know, like. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean before, like before, um, like the holidays, it'll be on test wikis, and then we do want some volunteer communities, like if the Uzbek wiki. Media would like it or something, and is willing to give us feedback, or or, or interested. Thanks.